Welcome in everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist Eric Snydel alongside John Kutchko and yet two excited guys. Yeah, I've been waiting way. for this man. I'm crawling right now. Now we've had a few inches of snow already on the ground yeah. and then today has just been messy, yucky. You know, it's been freezing, drizzle and sleet. Yeah, I mean, I got up super early today and it was really nice and then it changed quickly. Like you said, it, it would get yeah, kind of that misty rain. And, and, yeah. So we're still at 31 degrees right now. So whatever is falling at this moment and likely for the next couple of hours is all going to still be a frozen element, not mm -hmm. pure rain. You've got a skyline of Rochester in there, but this is more fog, I think, than anything else. It, it kind of makes it look like it's snowing, but it's not. Uh, we'll take a peek at the temps across the rest of the area. We've now made it to freezing in Sodus, Penyan, and Dansville. I don't know that we're ever going to quite get there, though, in Rochester. Right. So I think we're throwing that part out the window. We figured we weren't really going to get any rain, but you never know with these. You mm -hmm. get a degree or two warmer. It does not look like that is going to happen. Now we turn our attention to what's the moisture situation, how much precip is around. With those numbers near freezing, radar in pink is still implying this is falling. Is this going to look like rain? But elevated surfaces, you might see it, you know, on stop signs or the branches and that kind of thing. You might get a few icicles out of that. But uh, largely speaking, the roadway should be okay. We've tapered a lot of this off over downtown Rochester. I think that drive home is going to be okay. Not great, but okay. Yeah. The low is right about here. Yeah. And this is going to be the thing that we're watching track kind of like this, okay. riding up uh, 81 there. We're going to watch all of this start to fill back in, and that's what's going to be on our agenda tonight and then into the day tomorrow. Future cast by 8 p.m. It is filling it back in. Still is a mixture of sleet and freezing rain. Issue number one, when does this blue stuff get in? So I think the going logic here at about midnight tonight, we're changing things over to snow and that's going to be locally heavy west of Rochester. It will only slowly trickle eastward. That's the changeover line. Mm -hmm. By Friday morning's commute, we've probably got moderate to heavy snow falling. You've probably got several inches of snow already back on the ground on right. top of what's already falling. Winds are out of the north, which means we're getting the lake involved. And this is why we have winter storm warnings for Orleans, Monroe and Wayne counties. This stuff will start to break up, but the lake will keep the snow showers going into the afternoon, into the evening, and they will gradually taper off as we go into Saturday morning. And it's really cold, by the way, Saturday yeah, morning. I mean, Temps are in the crazy. teens. Yeah. Now, in terms of snowfall accumulations out of this, I have been over these last few days of the more conservative mindset. And I'm not really straying much from that. These numbers have gone up, but I, I want to throw some caution out there with these. Where you've got the winter storm warnings here, this is going to include Rochester, we've got an area in pink, 8 to 12. I really think, just a gut feeling out of this, it's a lot closer to 8 than it is the 12. Now we've got 12 in there because there are going to be a few spots where the lake stuff holds on longer sure. that could get up to 12, but if you're going to pick a number out of these two to focus on around the Rochester area, I would probably be more focused on the earlier one versus the latter one here, the eight. This certainly will help Rochester's cause for the award for city with the most snowfall. It We're is in the well, lead. but keep in mind too, you know, folks off to the east here in New England, they're yeah. going to get one to two feet out of this, but we're so far ahead of them. Yeah, Anchorage was number two, and Anchorage we were was number comfortably two. ahead of them. And I don't think this system's going to affect them, no, so we're good to good. go with that. <laughs> you go south of this pink shading where you don't get so much of the help from the lake. A fairer assessment out of this is four to eight. So, you know, roughly you're looking at about a half a foot. Yeah. And then Rochester northward, I think you're looking at a few inches more than half a foot on top of that with some folks closer to a foot. And, and for folks on the road, obviously that 104 corridor, which you always have to be careful with, right. this is something that's just going to be dicey all the way from, say, Webster up to Oswego and it beyond. Is. Now, and in terms of what's actively falling on us, I don't know that there's that much difference between the morning commute and the afternoon. I think both of them, it's snowing hard. Mm -hmm. Where the afternoon might be tougher is in the morning, you've only had a couple of inches. And then by the afternoon, we've had everything that is still piling up on the ground. So by the afternoon, roadway crews are going to have had uh, their work cut out for them trying yeah. to keep up. So, you know, both of them are going to be dicey drives, but the afternoon might be the tougher drive because we've just we've had more snow because yeah. there has been more time out of that. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of this is this is pretty locked in from an accumulation standpoint. If anything, I could see, you know, 
hopefully in a perfect world here because a foot of snow is going to be big problems through tomorrow. Maybe we can get to a point where we can whittle that down to, you know, an 8 to 10, kind of button that up a little bit. But maybe not. Maybe it ends up going 10 to uh, 12. Don't, don't worry about that. Our in-house <laughs> model, for what it's worth. Yeah. You know, we could show you a whole bunch of models, but... Uh, that's spitting out, you know, a 9.2 there in Rochester. And again, to my point here about that foot total, you really don't see a whole lot of foot totals. I don't see any now foot totals. Now, this is future snow here. through Sunday? It, it, the, the graphic runs all the way through okay, Sunday. I got so okay, I got you. This should all be right. about what's on the ground by Saturday morning. Okay, yeah. Um, so they're going on the more conservative side on this. Relatively speaking, yeah. but, you know, I, I think this is fair. You know, sevens and eights and nines, I think that's a pretty good bet. But uh, as is always the case, you're going to have some exceptions to that rule, especially when you add lake effect involvement in there, too. And you yeah. get a few spots. Silly more. question. Yeah. What's, what's, what's all this here with the white? I mean, is it snow? I mean, is it primarily snow? A little mix? The, the difference in the blues here? Yeah. Just, so, so it's lighter snow th here? This is going to be lighter snow okay. off there. I got you. Heavier corridor of snow as you start getting up here. So North Country, Adirondack is going to be, right. you know. And over here, the issue with them is they're closer to the low, so they're warmer. So they're going to get a ton of precip, but yeah. not all of it's going to end up being snow, which is kind of where you, you know, will we're be getting. busy. Oh, we're definitely going we're to be, be busy. busy. And, you know, to some extent, it, it makes very little difference here, I think, tomorrow, whether Rochester gets six inches or, you know, they end up closer to 10 or 12. It's six inches, anything more than that. You know, snow is the headline. It, it's going to be a mess. Yeah. Uh, the snow will taper off by early Saturday. We're going to hold tight with a few snow showers around really through most of next week, I don't know that any of those are big ticket storm systems out of this. So uh, this is the biggest one, arguably, going back to mid-November, I want to say. Yeah, we're, well, you and I were talking, when was the last time we had a winter storm warning here? It's been a while. Been a I while. remember around November 5th, I got some good winter scenic yeah. south of here. And I remember first week in December, Finger Lakes region, Trumansburg had about 12 to 14 inches. Yeah. Outside of that, it's been a big nothing burger. Yeah, this has been, uh, it's been a while. <laughs> So this would put, by the way, if, if our accumulations end up holding tight, this would put Rochester somewhere around 70 inches on the year. By the time this is all said and done, we average 100. Mm. So if you just wanted to go by average, that would imply we still have 30 more that we have to get through. Can I make a bold prediction? Time. I would love it. I think in March, the best is yet to come with the snow total. You may be right. Yeah. I you have may a very well be right. We're going to see you again in 15 minutes. News at 5, more weather coverage, new model data coming in. Fun day tomorrow if you're a snow fan. We'll uh, enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> Absolutely. Take care.